Introducing the Salty 79. This is the most customized, modified build that we have ever done here at TJM. I'm talking about an insane 79 series Land Cruiser that has every mod you could want on it, plus some new TJM products that you are seeing for the very first time. Our mission was to build a vehicle that is truly head-turning and attention-grabbing to showcase our latest four-wheel drive accessories, but also extremely practical and capable so we can take it on just about any track in Australia and live out of it for weeks. That's why we started with a 79 Series Toyota Land Cruiser. Out of the box, they are capable and reliable, and with the right modifications, you can turn one into a very tough, practical touring 4x4 that'll look great as well. Starting at the front, we really wanted the Salty 79 to stand out. I'll tell you what, one look at the front of this four-wheel drive, you just can't look away. It all centers around the TJM's all-new Ventura Bull Bar. The TJM engineers had a mission, to build a bar for the 70 Series Cruiser that not just looks insanely tough and stands out, it had to back it up with class-leading strength and usability. First look at the Ventura Bar, you can immediately see how well it suits the front of the 79 but it's what you can't see that makes the Ventura bar so good. Sticking true to the TJM bull bar DNA, the Ventura has a built-in winch frame rated to 12,000 pounds and rated recovery points built into the bar, something TJM are renowned for that most others don't do. As with our other bars for the Land Cruiser, the TJM Ventura bar is put through a comprehensive design and testing process to ensure that it is airbag compatible ADR compliant and winch compatible. Sitting on the Ventura bar are top quality TJM Ultima Mark II driving lights. And of course, a TJM Torque 12,000 pound winch. When I say TJM built this to go off road, I mean it. Check out the all new 79 series rock sliders that were developed for this build. Once again, TJM have perfectly matched style and strength. Can't wait to see these get used on the tracks. Next up were mods that everyone needs to do to a 79 series. The diff swap to a D-Wiz diff corrects the wheel track issue in these 4x4s, plus it is a much stronger rear diff with these Cromoly axles. For the suspension, of course, we couldn't resist adding the new XGS Remote Res TJM shocks and springs to give it a decent lift and GVM upgrade. The XGS shocks allow you to adjust the compression and rebound independently for incredible tool-free customization. So you'll get the perfect ride no matter where you are. The remote reservoir also means they can handle a lot more work without heating up. These are the ultimate if you want comfortable and capable suspension. It was then onto fitting a tow bar, some really trick dirty life wheels and Mickey Thompson muddies. The centerpiece for the back end of the Salty 79 is this insane train canopy set up by AMVE. Let's walk you through it. This thing is a work of art. On one side, we have the Dometic fridge on a clear view easy slide, and powering that is a monster 200 amp hour lithium battery and power system thanks to EnerDrive. The other brilliant addition to the canopy is the TJM Pro Series twin air compressor. These things are so fast at pumping up your tires, but with the right attachments can be so handy for so many jobs out on the tracks. We can't wait to show you how good this canopy is to camp out of when we get this out bush very soon. Now many of you know the 79 series has a big V8 diesel, but there are a few very important mods that these engines need if you really want to make it truly ready for off-road. First up, we added a torque at power module to safely increase power and torque from the big V8. Matching this to a throttle controller is the perfect combo. And to allow that engine to breathe, we put on a twin exit 3.5 inch torque at exhaust. While we're in the engine bay, check this out. It's TJM's new DC-DC charger under bonnet bracket, which comes standard with an Anderson solar plug bracket and a MIDI fuse holder bracket. So if you can fit your second battery under the bonnet like we can in the 79 series, you can mount your DC-DC 12 volt charger in here too, keeping it out of the way. Just when you thought we were done, check out just how tricky the interior of the Salty 79 is. These cruisers come with very agricultural interiors, similar to how they were made decades ago. So we went to town and completely transformed it in here. We've got upgraded seats, a full center console from Cruiser Consoles. We've upgraded the stereo to a nine inch PVS system with everything under the sun you could want. 
Well, there you have it. One of the toughest built for purpose 79s in the country. And best of all, we're just about to jump in the driver's seat and take this to the Brisbane 4x4 show. See it in the flesh for yourself alongside our fully fitted out 300 series at TJM Stand 130. Sean O and the boys from four wheel drive 24 seven will even be popping by to take a look. And after that, we have a trip organized because I'm sure you're sitting at home wanting to see what this bad boy can do in action. Where do you want to see us take the Salty 79? Tell us in the comments below. Want to keep up with our latest off-road builds? Follow TJM 4x4 on Facebook and Instagram, and for exclusive access, sign up to Club TJM.